Hi, my name is Ani and I'm a PhD student at Sharma's University of Technology. I'm here to present my work, uh, System Level Battery Pack Modeling for Thermal Simulations of Large Battery Packs in Electric Vehicles using GT Suite in this conference. I would like to thank GT for giving me this opportunity to present my work here. The partners involved in the project are Sharma's and Volvo Group. The funding was acquired from the Swedish Energy Agency and the other members involved in the project were uh, Yelena Andrich, Vlad Wominowski, and Simona Sabin. In this presentation, I will be talking about the lithium-ion battery pack modeling for electric trucks. The automobile industry in general are intensifying the efforts towards electrification. There is a growing need to create a robust modeling strategy that can accurately predict the thermal behavior of battery packs. Being able to have a coupled vehicle battery model could be beneficial to study complete vehicle thermal management, especially from an energy standpoint. So the first research question, how can the dynamic thermal effects of the battery pack be captured while facilitating subsystem interactions at the vehicle level? And while doing that, what is the right trade-off between model complexity and fidelity and computational speed? So here, we have a proposed methodology, a module discretized battery thermal model in order to do the same. But first, let me present the battery pack configuration that was used in this project. A 180 series two parallel battery pack with two trays was employed. The cells were cooled using indirect cooling strategy. The tray consisted of several battery modules and each module consisted of uh, a number of NMC 111. 111 type cells. The trays also included an aluminium cooling plate, a thermal interface material separating the module casings and the cooling plates. And here, let's take a look at the cooling microchannels. These microchannels were stamped onto the cooling plate and they have a U profile on, on the cooling plate. Each module was cooled by six microchannels, uh, where three of them were connected to the inlet and then at a certain distance, uh, it had the U shape and then it connected back to the outlet. Here is a cross-sectional view of the module. You have a number of lithium ion cells in each module. And as described before, the method is a module discretized battery thermal model. And so all of the lithium ion cells are represented as one thermal block in GT suite. This thermal block was then coupled with the battery thermal model, which uses the Bernardi's uh, equation, as you see here, uh, to calculate the amount of heat generated. The model uses temperature and current as input and calculates the amount of heat generated. Note that the N in the top equation represents the number of cells in each battery module. Also note, that the internal resistance is a function of temperature and state of charge and the entropic coefficient, which is the uh, change in open circuit voltage with respect to temperature is a function of state of charge. These values were obtained from Volvo and so were the thermal properties for the, for the battery cells. Now, as shown in the cross-sectional view, the battery cells are then connected to the a module casing which was done in the model as well and this connection was modeled as a conductive connection and then the thermal interface material uh, in the model was uh, modeled as a resistance connection which was then connected to the cooling plate which was modeled as aluminium and finally the cooling channels. The heat transfer coefficient was uh, computed using GT's solver. This was also verified using uh, analytical expressions for, uh, for laminar flows. Note that the coolant used in the model was a 40-60 glycol water mixture. The thermal interface material is usually an unknown quantity. And so this was uh, estimated 